which was a special pressure in and of itself, but even though it was still Earth, I was essentially leaving one world behind and arriving at another. Three. The weight calculation was still in effect, of course. We couldn't know for sure that a discovery of faster than light travel wouldn't be made. Using wormholes like in the movies was apparently still a uh, hypothetical, not disproven as a possibility. The trip I was making could be entirely for nothing, and that could have a huge impact on my morale. But there was another question. What if I arrived and there was no one waiting for me? Two. Humanity has done its best over the years, and its best isn't always impressive. We write stories about our journey into the stars to other planets meeting other species, and many of the stories are encouraging, despite mistakes we may make. Ultimately, we learn lessons that allow us to flourish, to thrive. That is the appeal of shows like Star Trek, obviously, that humanity can become something more than what we are, something special. One. That brings me to where I am now. Waxing poetical to myself about the nature of humanity, our accomplishments, our flaws, and our...